I praise the Lord that He is good all the time. Thank you so much for this time that <clears throat> I have to share the good news that the Lord is revealing me. I'm really so excited to share it all of you, those who are in person and joining through online. And I really thank you to Pastor Nao Nao that she let me share the good news this evening. I just love to read two scripture. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. This is good and please God our Savior who wants all people to be safe and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. <clears throat> the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? The good news that I'm going to share you this evening is, I feel more. I feel more. It sounds like romance, but I feel more, says the Lord. Amen. <laughs> there is God who is good all the time. And He wants all people to be saved. And after that, come to the knowledge of the truth. So he is saying, I feel more all the time for every soul. So imagine that <clears throat> you love someone the most. And yet the one whom you love the most doesn't even realize you or know you or maybe really not like you. And now you receive ignorance and rejection. How would you feel? Breakthrough or broken? Okay, do you think you would give up and forget everything instantly or say like, Jesus, it is finished. Let me find another one. I don't think so. Instead, you would feel more because you love him or her. One more, if someone you love the most has another relationship with other, then you know it now. How would you feel? Oh, do you think and say, I'm so happy, I'm still rejoicing in the Lord? I don't think so <laughs> you would do that. Do you know why? Because you love Him or her very much. You feel more. In the same way, the Bible said, God so loved the world that He wants every one of us to be saved from our sin and after that come to the knowledge of the truth. Because he knows very well of you. Yes, you were born into a sinner without any of your mistake. Yes, you are still being deceived by the devil. And being forced to be sinful. And yes, he knows you are being surrounded and overwhelmed by the worldly system right now. Yes, God knows you are being robbed of your faith, your trust, your peace. Because of the nature is happening. You are going with the flow right now. So God doesn't really happy when he sees you. He doesn't take any pleasure in the death of everyone in their wicked way. So he feel more. That's why one time in the Bible he said to prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 1 and 2. The word of the Lord came to me. Look at this. What do people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? The parents eat saw grapes and the children's teeth are set on age. And in verse 3 and 4, As surely as I live, the Lord said, You will no longer quote this proverb in Israel. For everyone belongs to me, the parent as well as the child. Both alike belong to me. The one who sin is the one who will die. But the Lord said in verse 21 and 22, look at this. If a wicked person turns away from all the sins they have committed and keep all my decrees and does what is just and right, that person will surely live. They will not die. None of the offenses they have committed will be remembered against them. And God asks this question. It sounds like question, really the answer. In verse 23, God said, Do I take any pleasure 
in the death of the wicked, declares the sovereign Lord. Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live? And in verse 30 and 32, he said, Repent, therefore, turn away from all your offenses. Then sin will not be your downfall. For I take no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the sovereign Lord. Repent and live. God himself is finding a way that how you would be saved and then come to the knowledge of the truth. So as God is feeling more of you, so he sent many Cupid to the wall. Amen. So that he, he, could do, uh, he could reach the unreached and tell the untold. And they receive God. So among many people in the Bible that God sent, I was just to show two people. One disobey and one obey. Anyway, God loves you so much. The first one is Jonah. You know the story, it's not easy to love the one who hurt us when we make mistakes because of our wrongdoing. Moreover, have you ever thought that it's impossible that we share of some good thing along with our times and energy to the one who hurt us badly. This was exactly happening the same to the prophet Jonah. But because of the situation was happening, he ran. Don't complain to Jonah. Imagine that what would happen if you were there. <clears throat> I just imagine that I would run more quickly than Jonah <laughs> because the situation was so terrible but the word came to Jonah a second time now something changed he could have left all his family relative his country his town and Jonah thought he could have run from the presence of God but actually because God filled him more of Jonah as well as the city of Nineveh. Now, God make him run for the gospel to reach the unreached and tell the untold. So what we have to learn is don't try to run away from God. When the time comes, you have to run for God without a uh, uh, restless and less peace but with speedily and quickly. Let me tell you this. It's not rocket science for the Lord to change things for you, to bring you back on the right way. So you know the story. Now Jonah already preached the city of the Nineveh, <clears throat> and he had gone out and sat down at a place east of the city. Now, God was so mercy that he provided a leafy plant for Jonah. So he was uh, happy. And unfortunately, the next day, God provided a womb that chewed the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, the Bible said, God provided a scorching wind, east wind that the sun blazed on Jonah's head that he grew faint. Now he said, I wanted to die, he said. The man of God said, I wanted to die. <laughs> then he said, it would be better for me to die than to live. Now God asked him a question. In Jonah chapter 4 verse 9, look at this. God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the plan? It is, Jonah said. I'm so angry. Not because of hungry, I'm angry enough. Because I don't love much the city of Nineveh. He said, I wish I were dead. Now, God said in verse 10, You have been so concerned about this plan. Though you didn't tend it or make it grow, it sprang up overnight and died overnight. And in verse 11, it sounds like question, but it's really the answer. God said, 
Should I not have concern for the great city of Nineveh, in which there are more than 120,000 people who even cannot tell their right hand from their left, and also many animals? Yes, it's so easy that we can love other much as well as we are, as much as we are. And even it's far more that when they hurt us for any reason or without reason. The reason is because we are not the creator. God is the creator. So he can only love his creation fully. Even when his creation is fallen into sin and corrupted, he's still feeling more of it. So God is telling you, even when you disobey, you think you could run from God. But God is saying, your disobedience cannot stop what I am feeling for the city of Nineveh. Your disobedience can make me stay in heaven silently and drinking cappuccino or americano and not reach to the unreached or tell the unto. Do you think that your disobedience can change my feeling? No. God is saying, I will never follow your step, but instead, my mercy and my goodness and my grace will follow you and lead you and push you to the unreached or to reach the unreached and tell the untold. Fulfill of my purpose. When God is feeling more for the city of Nineveh, look at this. He is even speeding up things to change. Hallelujah. God is feeling more for people. That's why he is calling you, prompting you. Do not worry because of your disobedience. God never give you up. He's still giving you a second chance, some more chance if it's needed for you. Amen. The second person is Paul. It's not easy to share of the gospel to the one who never willing to change or accept against all your hardship and your pain and chain. This was exactly happened the same to the Apostle Paul in his life. But he was different. In the book of, uh, long, let me tell you a little bit story. Paul was different from Jonah. He obeyed fully the command of the Lord. So he's serving for years. He gave, up his, he gave his life for the, the gospel. And at last... Now, Jews tried to kill him. And because of the situation, he was arrested and chained into prison. But something happened. Acts, in chapter 20, uh, Acts, chapter, Acts 26, verse 1. One time, he has, to be, uh, he has to happen before the king Agrippa and Phaetos. Now, the king the Agrippa, many officials were there. And king Agrippa said to Paul, Now, you have permission to speak for yourself. King Agrippa, Paul said, I consider myself fortunate to stand before you today as I make my defense against all the accusations of the Jew. This was all the official expected. Paul has to stand before them, them before they sent to the emperor. He has to be, he, has, uh, he had the right to, to defend his cause. But differently, Paul says something. <clears throat> uh, in verse 6, Paul said, Now, it's because of my hope in what God has promised our ancestor that I am on trial today. They were listening. There are many officials. Why should any of you consider it incredible that God raises the dead? Instead of defending himself from accusation of Jew, he starts sharing the good news. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amazing. And then he said, one time I give you my testimony. I was so against Jesus. And one time I was about to be in the road to the Damascus. And I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus. And I tell you today, this Jesus, he, speak, he was speaking with chains. Amen. 
He obeyed, committed his life fully. And now, because of that, in verse 19 and 20, Paul said, because of the vision I received from the Lord. Oh, King Agrippa, I wasn't disobedient to the vision from heaven. That's why I left everything and I, go to, I went to Damascus, Jerusalem, all Judea and to the Gentiles. I preach everywhere. Repent and turn to God. Because God was feeling you more. He doesn't take any pleasure in the dead of your weakness. Repent and turn to God. Because he's sharing this good news in the middle of the official, now the leader Phaeto said in verse 24, at this point, Phaeto interrupted, look at this in verse 24, Paul's defense, are you are out of your mind, Paul? <laughs> He shouted, your great learning, your degree is driving you insane. Paul said, I am not that one. I know who I am. What I am saying is true and reasonable. And also the king Agrippa said to Paul, and Paul said in verse 24, at, in 27, he also said to king Agrippa as he was listening, do you believe the prophets? I know you do, King Agrippa, because I know you are familiar with the Jewish custom. Agrippa said to Paul, Do you think that in such a short time you can persuade me to be a Christian? Even they heard the gospel, still their heart is hidden. That's why God is feeling so much more to the official. He sent somebody not like Jonah, somebody who dared to come and face them so that he could reach the unreached and tell the untold. At last, before he was taken to another place, Paul said to, before the official in verse 29, Paul replied, short time or long, I pray to God that not only you, but all who are listening to me today may become what I am, except for these chains. Hallelujah. Some of you are like Paul. You obey, you commit. You dare to face any accusation or trial against because of what God is feeling more of many higher position. God is saying to you, Obedience is better than sacrifice. God is smiling down on you. Do not be discouraged. Be strong. You are doing right. I am happy with you. And he is giving you in spite of blessing. In spite of against. In spite of many accusations. In spite of all the trials. In spite of all the chain. Still you would be standing boldly for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So this evening, you may be like Jonah. Yes, we are. Most of the time, many a time, we disobey. But <clears throat> it was clear that it wasn't without any reason. That's why we disobey. But I love that God is ready to give you a second chance and more chance if it's needed for you. Because before he filled more of the city of Nineveh, he first filled more of you. Amen. God is filling more of you. You may be like Paul this evening. You obey, you commit, you dare to face any accusation against all the chains because of the gospel. God is telling you, I am happy with you. I'm feeling very well with you. And I'm planning to be a witness of me. Because he is feeling more of you. Like the people of the city of Nineveh. You don't know anything about God. There are many people. They don't even know that where, uh, there is God. But don't worry. God is preparing someone. Maybe you or me to them and give some uh, to
to, uh, to reach the unreached and tell the untold. That's why God is preparing you, equipping you, full, a gift full of his mercy upon you. You may be like officials in the palace. Yes, you ever heard the gospel many more times. You are being persuaded by the miracle that you see in the name of Jesus on YouTube or many places. But still your heart is hardened to welcome the gospel. Do not worry. Just give thanks to Jesus. God is still sending someone who dare and go and uh, dare to face them and share the gospel to them. Because God is still, God is also feeling more of them. God not only worry if they don't turn back and die in their wicked way. But also he is so excited if they turn back to him and live. Be safe and come to the knowledge of the truth. We are safe, but the truth is person. His name is Jesus. Jesus is the healer so that we can have healing in our life. So God may not tell you everything right now, but this evening as you are hearing this message through about Jonah and Paul, God is telling you something. You may not know everything too, but it's okay. Are you ready? He knows wells of you. He knows all the good He has planned for you. Amen? Because God is feeling more of you before He feeling more the city of Nineveh, the nation, or many higher position people. So God is feeling more of you. Amen? Are you blessed this evening? So would you stand please for a moment? <clears throat>